A few people have asked me about the, this arrangement I use for temporary connections. And it's not an official means of making temporary connections. It's, it's not ideal. It's just what I was using because it was very convenient. And it's using Wago terminals. Now, the first time I came across Wago terminals was when I was working with a company called Hussman Refrigeration. And some of the equipment we used had the uh, panel mounting Wago terminals that go in control panels. And it was for the really huge condensing fans out uh, that were used to cool the refrigerant and re condense it into liquid. And uh, initially when I first saw them, it was the type that you put a screwdriver in to release and then you put a wire in and then you took the screwdriver out and it locked the wire. And I was thinking, how can that be better than screw terminals? So next time I saw the uh, service engineers with the company, I asked them about these terminals and they said, we've never ever had problems with them. In fact, quite the opposite. The screw terminals, because people either over tighten them or they don't tighten them enough or they wiggle loose over time or the copper spreads or the wires get bunched in in an odd way, that causes more problems than the springy terminals. So I was kind of like quite impressed at that. And they've evolved the range of terminals as time has gone on. So they've got this type, which is a push terminal. And basically speaking, you shove a wire into it and it locks in. It pushes a wee sort of metal spring clip back and the wire goes in but doesn't come back out again. And they've got some interesting features. If you're wanting to do electrical tests, then any of these uh, units has a, t a test facility that you can actually just take a terminal and at the back of it you can poke terminals into it. And it's shielded enough that you're not going to uh, be able to accidentally poke wires into that, but it, make, it lets you make connection with the back of the little springy bus bar inside, which is very good. Uh, likewise with these ones, they have this little slot here that you can poke the leads down and make connection with the bus bar inside. I'm guessing, I've never really actually thought about these ones. Oh yes, these have it as well. They've got the uh, terminal insert point as well for uh, testing uh, in situ. Now these ones here are quite interesting. They are different. These are for interfacing either one or two solid cores to a flexible cable. And they're using sort of lighting applications where you've got the uh, solid core mains cable come in, then it goes to the flex to go out to the light. And what happens when you squeeze these down, it opens the terminal. You can pop a wire in. I guess you could probably use a solid core wire as well, but it locks it in. But you can unlock it just by squeezing it. These ones, as you've seen me using them, you can open it up, pop a wire in, close it down, and whether it's stranded or solid, it locks onto it, but then you can just release it again, which is handy. Um, these ones, uh, though this is the one for the larger uh, diameter cores, but these ones are, I, I won't say they're, they're a one shot. Once you've pushed it in, it locks, uh, but you can twist the wire and it will gradually work its way out. But uh, quite often when I've seen these being used um, in places like, well, a good example, uh, uh, Euro Disney, uh, Disneyland Paris, um, all the uh, electricians there were using Wago type terminals. And if they ever made a, me a mess of some wiring, all they'd do is just, because they were just so cheap and readily available, they had boxes and boxes of them, they'd just cut it off and bin it, which uh, seemed wasteful, particularly given that you can officially uh, actually twist the wires back out, but I suppose it was just easier uh, for them to do that. So after uh, these have been out for a while, a chap came out with a device called the Wago box, and this is just genius. It's so clever. It's a clip together box, and it's got these uh, cable strain reliefs that just sort of slot down into it. There's sort of stiff plasticky ribs that uh, go in here and they lock the cables and it's got these uh, guides, uh, terminal guides here designed to take, well, either these or these type terminals um, in the end here and secure them in place. So um, it's got two holes in the back, uh, well, that you can poke through. It's got this sort of like weakened area with the terminals that you can poke through for screwing onto a, a wall or a joist or something like that. And the other option it's got is for you to put this little um, screw this onto a joist if you've not got a lot of access and once it's done you can actually just sit the box onto it like this and uh, that will go in and wedge down so you can just wedge it onto position. To connect into these is so easy. Say for instance you've got um, 
three cables. Uh, you maybe had one cable coming through and you want to spur a connection off it. All you have to do is get some of the multi-way terminals and the earth sleeving. Stick earth sleeving on, get one terminal and just go like live. Earth. Neutral. Get the next wire. Pop the earth sleeving on. And just do the same again, live, earth, neutral, and the last cable, and you've got a spare output on this as well because they, they go up in pairs, live, earth, and neutral, and that's them connected then all you have to do is sit them down, say for instance you want to sit these ones down here, sit that uh, the uh, earth on top of those ones, sit the lives down here, just make sure putting these terminals down the right way, yes I am, push them down, and then just press these into the, the strain reliefs. You can just part them a wee bit to make it easier. And then once you've done that, you just close the lid down. It's quite a tight fit and that actually squeezes the, the uh, strain relief grips so that that's it. You know, that's it now fully connected. It's got the other option here. You can also put a, a wire seal through this if it's uh, as an anti-tamper feature or for extra security, you can put a cable tie around that if you wish. But um, this is just such a genius system, it's really, really handy. They also do a smaller version without those compartments at the back, just for lighting, so that if you've got, say, a GU10 lighting fixture with the smaller hole, you can actually bring the wires through and then put, terminate them in the box and then push the box up through the hole. It's a very clever system. And I can't say I've ever had a Wago terminal fail. They're very good, fast and convenient, and not overly expensive either. This sounds like an advert. It's not an advert, I just think that they're really good terminals. It's a very functional and clever electrical connection system.